begin with that horrifying home invasion in Lakeview. A man is tied up, robbed at gunpoint. He's now sharing his frightening story and sharing his frustration that the suspect had just gotten out of prison for another burglary. The story from NBC5's Lexi Souter. It was a sunny and busy evening on Diversity Parkway. Chris Murphy had no indication of the terror waiting for him inside his apartment. And suddenly there's a man with a revolver and a mask pointed at me. He says, don't move. You know, he uses much more harsh language. He says, don't move, don't say anything. I'm just, just so I just, I just stand there. Court documents state 30-year-old Kabar Venson broke into Chris's Lakeview apartment. Investigators say Venson tied up Chris's roommate first. This is him in the photo, then demanded Chris to the ground to do the same. And then he says, put your hands behind your back. So then I put my hands behind my back. I can't see anything. All I hear is this tearing sound, which I found out he was tearing pieces of the bed sheet. And he starts tying my hands like I, he like has me get him as close as possible to tie him and just like I'm just sitting there just letting him tie me up. Chris says this crime unfolded in a matter of five minutes or less. The suspect then went out the door, took off on foot for the diversity brown line and that's where police arrested him. I was already because my I was already in a bad place because my brother, my baby brother committed suicide like just this time last year, like around this time last year. So. I've been dealing with that and now I've got this on top of it. Chris learned through court documents that Vincent had committed a similar crime in 2016. Vincent had served seven years behind bars and had just been released this month when days later he allegedly committed the crime again. I don't understand. I don't understand how this could happen. Lexi Souter, NBC5 News.